Hello everybody from Plant Reviews UK. Uh, I received a box today from uh, Burn Cause uh, Nurseries in uh, Cornwall. It's one of my favorite nurseries in the UK. It has uh, a lot of uh, quite rare plants including some beautifully fragrant plants and you know how much I love fragrances. Indeed I um, have several uh, fragrant plants at home in the garden and as well in my allotment and in this little polytunnel including several species of jasmines uh, today i made a video as well of this beautiful jasmine uh, the jasmine of angulare i will put the link uh, in the description and in the video uh, as well as uh, many uh, i have some other fragrant plants that i bought uh, some months ago uh, from burn cross nurseries uh, some of them uh, have not bloomed yet but one that bloomed beautifully and i very happy of the fragrance of the plant even if uh, it's not uh, incredibly intense uh, it is uh, a very nice fragrance is the magnolia uh, pink parchment that i will put the video in the description of uh, this video as well and uh, also the link at the end of this video so let's uh, open this uh, box and hope that opens quite easily and Let's see what I bought. Oh, well, the plant looks already very nice. Let's open the entire box. Perfect. Uh, uh, what I like also of Burnco's nurseries is that uh, they are uh, very careful when they pack the plants. Uh, I had some plants sent in the past from uh, other uh, nurseries that were uh, uh, quite badly packaged and indeed arrived damaged. But uh, Burnco's nurseries, uh, the first uh, parcel I received uh, was incredibly well packed and I am very happy with this as well. Uh, about the condition of the plant so now I am holding I'm very sorry for the quality of the video but it's a bit difficult to <laughs> open the box and holding the mobile at the same time um, I forgot the support for the mobile at home I hope that you will not mind but I wanted just to share with you some of the most beautifully fragrant plants that I could buy in this period and here they are so I just want to be careful obviously not to damage myself when I open the box So, first one, this is, uh, this is one of the most incredible fragrant plants you can get in a garden and it is the Osmanthus fragrance. Hopefully you can see the label. Osmanthus fragrance is a plant in the family Oleace, like the olive trees, as well as the jasmines that are in the same family and are beautifully fragrant, as well as lilacs. The family Oleace has an incredible variety of fragrant plants, and definitely, if you want a fragrant garden, I can uh, you will find in this family of plants a lot of interesting species. Uh, Osmanthus fragrance comes from Asia, and in particular in China and Japan is very appreciated for the fragrance that some people uh, some, pe some people um, compare to a kind of apricot fragrance. Uh, the perfume is very sweet and quite intense, especially when it's in full bloom. Uh, there are two uh, varieties. Uh, one this is the white variety, that is this one even if it doesn't have any flower and the other one that I really wanted to be able to buy but unfortunately uh, at Broncos Nursery they did, they 
didn't have in stock at the moment is the um, uh, variety with orange flowers and uh, I love orange and red colors and it's not easy to find plants with orange or red flowers that are fragrant and really I should make a video uh, just on the topic because there's very few uh, species that have uh, red or orange flowers and uh, a nice uh, intense fragrance. Uh, Osmanthus fragrance uh, with the orange flower, the variety with orange flowers is one of them. However, this one has white flowers, however, is uh, not any less uh, intense as a fragrance and um, uh, they is uh, um, in uh, is used uh, uh, in Asia uh, mainly uh, for uh, um, uh, perfuming uh, the houses for example bringing these uh, flowers in the house uh, but also they use it as a garden plant this plant is not completely hardy in the UK if you live in a very uh, mild climate like for example in coastal, uh, coastal areas of the southern uh, England uh, there's chances that you cultivate this plant outdoors uh, otherwise it's really uh, kind of frost tender so this is a plant that definitely I don't want to risk to cultivate it outdoors I will keep it in my my uh, poly uh, tunnel. Uh, another plant that I was really uh, looking for to uh, buy is uh, uh, this one. This is Rhododendron. Uh, this Rhododendron is called Rhododendron Fragrantissimum. That means latin uh, very fragrant. Uh, regardless the uh, name that uh, is latin and might uh, you might think that this is a species this actually is not a species is a, a hybrid between two different species of rhododendron and both species are fragrant uh, however this hybrid is uh, um, among hybrids uh, one of the most fragrant rhododendrons and i asked the uh, on uh, um, at uh, uh, one person working at the Burncross Nursery and at Seraya's estate that is an estate um, that is linked to the nursery which one was the rhododendron that would recommend me best for fragrance they said that definitely uh, in his opinion is rhododendron fragantissimo so this hybrid sometimes hybrids actually have superior qualities to the may to their parents and might be that this rhododendron fragrantissimo is actually uh, um, fragrance uh, even uh, more intense than the two parents now I don't remember which species are the two parents I will put it in the description uh, however uh, this again is a plant that is uh, can be cultivated outdoors only in the mildest parts of the United Kingdom uh, really in USDA 9 might be able to grow in zone 8 but really really need a protected place a bit like uh, the Osmanthus fragrance and uh, um, uh, however can be cultivated also in a conservatory uh, as also Osmanthus fragrance and uh, will uh, when is in bloom it will um, spread this beautiful uh, sweet perfume uh, if you like uh, fragrant rhododendrons I found a great plant uh, for um, uh, British gardens that is hard in the United Kingdom as well as in many temperate and also quite cold areas uh, is uh, the um, uh, rhododendron uh, the yellow rhododendron that I think is called rhododendron ponticum uh, or rhododendron flavum. I made a video about the, uh, this yellow rhododendron uh, some uh, months ago and I will also put the link in the description. This plant has uh, bright yellow flowers and uh, the fragrance is really really nice. It's not a fragrance that really permeates the entire garden but still uh, is uh, medium intensity. You can smell it at a certain uh, uh, distance from the flower so this is another uh, rhododendron I can definitely recommend for fragrance uh, and is uh, really hardy uh, this uh, uh, yellow rhododendron uh, 
the, um, I will also put the link of this rhododendron in the description and anyway this, uh, the yellow rhododendron I'm talking about uh, is uh, definitely a lot easier to find many many nurseries uh, have uh, rhododendron uh, the yellow rhododendron and uh, um, while the fragrantissimum uh, the only nursery found with the fragrantissimus available and just uh, and just after one year I was looking for it that was Burn Coast Nurseries and I found it uh, there was in stock in other maybe two nurseries in the United Kingdom but uh, in both of them uh, they were out of stock uh, this year so unfortunately uh, I couldn't buy it until uh, just uh, literally just now I hope the plant is quite small I really hope that will grow successfully and uh, to be able to smell this uh, flowers that uh, are supposed to be uh, to bring an extremely gorgeous fragrance and uh, well last but not least this is a plant uh, this is another magnolia uh, this magnolia is, belongs to the subgenus michelia uh, to which belong several uh, species that are uh, famous for their fragrance uh, one of the most famous is the uh, michelia michelia campaca or magnolia champaca as now uh, is classified that is a, a tropical uh, magnolia that uh, from the flowers uh, are uh, um, the base of uh, the uh, uh, fragrance for the perfume joy the first uh, perfume joy that was uh, made uh, this plant is not Michele Champaca I wanted to buy actually Michele Champaca but I couldn't find anywhere in sale for in the United Kingdom uh, this one instead is Michelia Figo uh, actually reclassified now as Magnolia Figo but in Burkhorn's nursery they still write the name as Michelia Figo Michelia according to what I understand at the moment is just a subgenus in the genus Magnolia and uh, uh, this plant uh, um, produces uh, uh, yeah, brownish purple flowers that uh, it says here they smell like pear drops uh, so many people say they smell like banana but definitely it's a very sweet smell and uh, also the flower is very nice this deep purple uh, I forgot to say that uh, Fragrantissimum has uh, white flowers this is a rhododendron with white flowers uh, it seems that obviously <laughs> for this rhododendron to me uh, is more important the fragrance rather than the flower itself. I think the flowers, if I remember correctly, are actually quite big. Um, anyway, uh, I, um, uh, I put uh, the link in the description of uh, Burko's nurseries, uh, uh, the uh, link uh, of all the species that uh, I bought. So you can find in Burko's nurseries link uh, both the um, both the. Um, picture of the flower as well as the uh, link to the species if you want to buy it. Uh, Michelia figo like these other two plants Rhododendron Fragrantissimum and Osmanthus fragrance is uh, uh, not really hard in the United Kingdom again is hardy USDA zone 9, uh, USDA zone 8 in protected environment, but I wouldn't risk to cultivate it outdoors all year round. Uh, these are plants that uh, this year I will cultivate in my uh, polytunnel when I can offer uh, these plants uh, a protected environment, protected from the snow and from uh, too much rain that in winter might obviously freeze during the night. Um, obviously damaging the roots and uh, also the damaging the plants so instead in a polytunnel obviously will have some protection I hope to be able to do it and obviously I will keep you updated in the next uh, months about how my plants are doing in the meantime I hope that you enjoyed this uh, unboxing of fragrant plants um, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you like this video would be great if you can please give a thumbs up and if you didn't like the video well you can obviously give it a thumbs down uh, however if you like this video and the other videos on my channel it would be great if you can please subscribe in this way uh, you um, uh, make the stuff of the YouTube um, aware that you like my videos and YouTube in turn the more subscribers I have the more can promote my channel on the platform thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time bye